So the OnePlus Nord is here and OnePlus had created a lot of hype for this phone. And creating hype is actually a good move to market a product. But creating hype which is not ethical or which is misleading is something what a brand should not do. But that's exactly what OnePlus is doing right now. OnePlus is trying to fool customers by grabbing the most attention by disguising a new model as a sub-brand through separate social media handle. Because surfacing up of a sub-brand can turn a lot more heads than just a new model which is a daily show for us nowadays. So OnePlus has been increasing its phone prices year over year and with the OnePlus 8 series OnePlus phones have become real flagship phones. But with the OnePlus Nord, OnePlus is trying to target upper mid-range market which is much more competitive than the flagship market. But the problem is that OnePlus had created a lot of hype for this phone. The leaks and rumors about OnePlus Nord started way before its launch and OnePlus itself started giving hints on their social media handles. And as Shivansh mentioned that they created a separate social media account for OnePlus Nord, which they never did for their earlier phones. And OnePlus used this new account to leak the specifications of the phone themselves. As you can see from this data that searches on Google regarding OnePlus Nord hiked after April because at that time OnePlus themselves started leaking the product and this data proves that OnePlus was successful in creating the hype for the upcoming phone. OnePlus Nord was rumored to be named as OnePlus Z or OnePlus Lite and on the Amazon page OnePlus teased about the name like this which again contributed to the hype. But the most interesting part was the video with MKBHD. Kai Pei revealed prototype to justify fake R&D although this past Oppo cloner this time simply copied Realme X50 Pro's design aesthetics. Coming to the point, all this was a marketing strategy and this helped OnePlus to sell OnePlus Nord even before launching it. And now you must have seen that majority of channels on YouTube is giving away OnePlus Nord and some of them started give away even before the launch of the phone, which gave an impression that this phone is going to be a game changer but soon after the launch it became clear that it's not a game changer no matter how you look at it. OnePlus is just using YouTubers to market their phones and create more hype for OnePlus Nord. I am not saying that OnePlus Nord is not a good device, it actually is. It has lot of good things going on like that 90Hz AMOLED display, Snapdragon 765G. But the hype that OnePlus Nord. created for this phone pretty and pricing of the phone is not going hand to hand. Price. The base variant of OnePlus Nord is of Rs 25,000 which offers 64GB of internal storage and you cannot expand it via microSD card. And this is not going to be available till the end of September. And I am sure that this base variant will have availability issue in future also. So most of the customers will go for 128GB variant which will cost around 28,000 rupees. And now when you look at alternatives, you can find better phones at this price point. The only unique thing that OnePlus has to offer is the Oxygen OS. And if you want to know why Oxygen OS matters then you can check out my video, I will link it in the card above. Coming back to the point, except Oxygen OS, there is nothing special about this phone that can justify its hype. Apart from the display, cameras and build quality are average and we actually do not need 5G till the end of 2021. Let me compare this phone with other better alternatives, by this you will get the idea. But if you still haven't, let me clear it for you. OnePlus Nord is an all-rounder device that does everything fine but other phones have better and provide more value for money. I hope this comparison helps you if you are planning to buy OnePlus Nord. Keeping all these things aside, I am personally interested in this phone because I like Oxygen OS. But what do you guys think? Do brands need to create this much hype for their phone, a phone which is not special or innovative? I personally think that OnePlus could have launched this phone at lower price point by saving some money on marketing. Because we all know that OnePlus as a brand needs no introduction, their phones are already great. Which means they actually don't need to spend a lot of resources on advertisement and overhype their product. What do you guys think about OnePlus Nord? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to know what's exactly happening with OnePlus and OnePlus Nord then you can check out Shivansh video. It's a long video but trust me it's very informative. I will link it in the card above. And I guess that's it for this video. Do give it a thumbs up if you find it interesting and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope I will see you all in my next video. Till then keep watching.